Are you tired of trying to find the perfect ice cube tray? Well, so am I. So that's why I spent all of the time researching and trying all kinds of different ones to see which one I liked. And pretty much all of them I threw away, except for these. So these are the RSVP um, Endurance Stainless Steel Ice Cube Trays. They're pretty much just little ice breakers. Um, I have tried many ice cube trays over the years. The plastic ones always break within a couple, usually sometimes you get a couple weeks out of them, sometimes you get a month or two, and then they start cracking and leaking all over your freezer, dripping water. Uh, so anyhow, I did some research and I came up with these as the best alternative besides buying a, a commercial grade ice machine. <laughs> Anyhow, just wanted to show you how easy these are. Um, nope. Twist them around here. So pretty much you just hold your hand there. They say on the directions to let them sit um, for about a minute or two after you take them out of the freezer, but I didn't do that. So as you can tell they're easy, there's sometimes a couple ice cubes that get in there, but that's done. Here's the ice, just nice simple ice chunks, what more do you need? So there you go. Um, you know, I had tried so many different plastic ones and it seems like all the new ones are just thinner and thinner and um, they seem to, yeah, crack out really easy. These ones are super fast and efficient. Um, I am not, I am not getting paid for to sponsor this video. Or I don't have a sponsor. I'm not. I'm only reviewing this product because I like it, and it works, and it seems to be a good quality. And I like to buy stuff that lasts and whatnot. Yeah, sometimes you get one that doesn't come out as easy, but overall that was really quick. And then I just fill them up with. Uh, filtered water out of a Berkey filter. Um, they do say to fill them up only uh, two two thirds to a halfway full, um, and that helps them break up easier. But as you can see, there's four trays right there, and I just got this huge bowl of ice, and it didn't take very long at all. Um, I tried another one. I'll show you real quick. I tried this silicone tray one and these do produce nice ice cubes But the problem with this one is you literally have to push out every single ice cube and then the corners you gotta use a couple fingers and You know, they're just kind of a pain to get out um, So anyhow, I just I use this one just for my son just to do like some apple juice cubes or some kind of orange juice cubes or whatever um, because it's super annoying, especially in the morning, if you're trying to pop all these out, your hands get really cold, pushing on all these and whatnot. Um, and it takes quite a while just to even get this one set out. Um, anyhow, yeah, so I would definitely recommend this product. They are about, I think I paid a hundred and, or no, I think it was about 20 or 30 bucks each. I got them on eBay um, and you know you can buy cheap plastic ones for I think even the cheap ones are now you know five to seven bucks and then those the last set I bought at Bed Bath & Beyond they cracked within two weeks and started dripping all over my freezer and getting ice down there and then they finally just ripped apart and so I finally just bit the bullet and bought these. Um, are they worth the cost? I would say yeah. If you like to buy cheap stuff, 
like I used to do for so many years, you spend more money in the long term replacing it over and over and over. Um, as you know, probably, they just don't build stuff to last like they used to. And I know the old version of these were made out of aluminum back in the day. Um, I definitely would get stainless steel and not the aluminum ones. Um, I don't know how, if aluminum would leach into your water being frozen. I know it does when it's heated up, but I don't know about if, if it's frozen, if aluminum leaches. But stainless steel is always a safe bet. Um, so yeah, if you guys liked my video, please subscribe and like and comment. And if you found this useful to you, and I'll be doing lots of reviews on all kinds of different products. Um, most of the stuff that I've already bought over the years, you know, I've, like I said, I spent most of my life just buying cheap stuff and being very dissatisfied with the results and the product. And, you know, nowadays I'll save up and, you know, buy the stuff that actually lasts and is higher quality. So you don't have to keep replacing it. Um, it's it's easy to get in the mindset of oh this is cheap I'm gonna buy this it's only five dollars for ice cube tray but then it doesn't last two months and then you got to buy it again and again and again and then not only that but then you know some of the plastic can leach into your ice cubes and and then you have that taste and flavor and toxicity in your ice cubes as well so is it worth spending $30 an ice cube tray? I would say yes, because this will probably last a lot longer than the other ones. Um, the only other thing to keep in mind with these is you cannot stack them on top of each other. Well, you could, but they'd spill all over. <laughs> um, if you made a little custom tray or some kind of little platform where you could stack them or buy a, buy a tray, you could do that um but they just have to they kind of do take up a little more freezer space because you can't stack them but i only have four right now because um i'm building up a ice section my wife uses a lot of the ice and you know when you're the backbone of the house you have to keep the ice cube tray full so i try to do that as best as possible uh again here you go here's the ice Just simple what you need ice cubes. Um, I don't make too big of a deal of it. I just like something that's quick ice cubes. Uh, we don't have a freezer in our fridge up here. So we have a commercial grade fridge and then our freezer is pretty small. So I, I did specifically did not want to buy a ice machine um, on the fridge because I've had lots of clients and so much water damage and leaking stuff that um, I just didn't want to deal with that because uh, I just have seen a lot of water damage from those fridges with ice machines on them plus they get really dirty and nasty and they're really hard to clean so you know simple ice cube tray here you go uh, thanks for watching my video please like and subscribe and hope you guys have a good day thanks bye